Hello, and my name is Dil Tauraja. I'm a professor here at the Clemson University, South Carolina. And my program is called um, Pulse Quality and Nutritional Breeding Program. And I oversee the uh, nutritional breeding program for organic crops, especially for dry peas. I have two ORI projects. One project actually ended this year. And that's the first, pro first ORI project 2018. Um, I'm the PD uh, and then co-PD was Dr. Rick Boyle. That project was we both were trying to see with the under organic system where the sorghum and dry peas can fit very well. So we tested and then we select the uh, parents during our farm on farm selection, like the pre breeding. And then I wrote the second project, which is on the PD um, to cultivate development for high, highly bioavailable digestible protein for plant based protein. So the second project was funded two years ago, which is we are in the second year. So what here we are looking at, we are developing this breeding pipeline to develop cultivars, dry pea cultivars, adapted to the uh, organic farm setting with high protein content, high protein quality, and protein digestibility. I am very appreciative about my growers because I do not think that I can be successful in this breeding program to developing these cultivars without having my main organic grower. So I have a very good relationship with them. So I'm hoping that one of my varieties that I can release to recognize their um, and, um, owner of the farm, Walter P. Rawls was the, um, who established the farm. So I would expect someday that I could release a variety on behalf of um, recognizing them for the, what they have done for our breeding program. Uh, I think international component is very important because especially the pulse crops are inbreds and they were not very genetically diverse. And U.S. has, I don't know how many people U.S. has the organic pulse breeding programs, but major universities in the Midwest and Washington state has the big breeding program, but they are all conventional. So the we need to exchange material because those material they develop for conventional, it's not going to fit for the organic. So organic is a whole different ballgame.